Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to add new properties to a JavaScript object. You can add new properties to existing JavaScript objects the same way you would modify them. Here's how you would add a bark property to our dog. Our dog dog bark is equal to bow wow. Our dog parentheses bark is equal to bow wow. So they do it here in dot notation and here in bracket notation. They're exactly the same thing. Uh, now we when we evaluate our dog dot bark, we'll get this bark, bow wow. And uh, there you go. So add a bark property to my dog and set it to the dog sound such as woof. You may use either dot or bracket notation. So we only want to change code below this line. line. And at, at the end of it, we want to add a bark property to my dog. Um, if we were to do it in line like this the wrong way, we would go bark and go, um, you know, woof. Now this would pass the test if we were to console.log out my dog um, bark. We're going to get woof, right? Um, woof. Um, I just added that just so it's really clear that this is what we're doing. So I've added it here. Oh, actually, I want to, uh, my dog, I actually don't want that. Is that the way to do it? Um, my dog dog bark is equal to, woo. This is actually how they want us to do it. So we're adding it in like that. Um, so if, you, if I go back and I run these tests, I'm pretty sure that this will fail because we do not add bark in the setup section. So I'm gonna undo what I just did and put this um, all back, uh, Command Shift Z. That gets us back to here. So now I've set bark, I've removed it from here and I've added it in here. And then the dog's just making a uh, woo sound and that passes the test. Now if I wanted to do it in uh, bracket notation, I could hide this and you'll see that this renders out to nothing. The console doesn't have anything there because dot bark doesn't exist. The way that we could do it in um, bracket notation would be to go my dog and then bark is equal to woof, you know, woof, woof. And you'll see now this one renders out to here. And so that is how to do it in bracket notation. And this is how to do it in dot notation. You'll see they are different, but at the same time, uh, I'm pretty sure both will pass the test. Um, let me try just to make triple sure. Yeah, so both work exactly the same way. Hope you guys enjoy this one. I hope going into a little bit more detail makes it uh, a little bit helpful for you to understand what's going on. This is very important stuff. Enjoy. See you in the next lesson.